That night, Kane Morgan was lost in the dreams of his childhood. He saw the charred remains of his home. He saw himself standing alone amid the wreckage. His mother and father were nowhere to be found. Kane was very young at the time, so young that he didn't really understand that he lived in a country known as Solskia and that the neighboring country, Aldeen, had suddenly become a cruel, aggressive invader. There was one other thing. They had all left for the island. That was all he was able to remember. Hungaria was the largest country in the western continent. The elders, who at the time were the acting rulers, had abruptly dispatched a group of knights to a place known as the Island of No Return. The young king, a man called Ian, who was known for his fairness and moderate manner, inquired with the elders as to the meaning of such a dispatch, but the elders didn't bother to reply. Gillian Morgan, the loyal leader of the king's retinue, was concerned about Ian, so he decided he would learn for himself what the elders were up to. He had but one piece of evidence to guide him. It was a vague utterance made by one of the elders. Somewhere on the island of no return, was a ring imbued with eternal power. It was not a time for indecision. Gillian proposed to the king that his own son, Cain, should journey to this island. A few days later, before daybreak, a small boat departed from the port of Hungaria. It was a boat secretly obtained by Gillian for one purpose only, to carry his son, Cain, holding in his hand a sealed scroll from King Ian to the island of no return.
So that was you, huh? <laughs> I was expecting more than just a young boy for being the king's favorite. Evans told me to call him when you arrived. He's in that little shack. This island is crawling with monsters. Don't go getting yourself killed now. from the mainland. We've been expecting you. I'm Evans. Let me take that letter from you. Hmm. It says here to add you as a member of our team. Oh boy. This means we'll need the captain's approval. But he's always asleep. What can we do? I guess we just can't send you back. It's direct orders from the king. There's nothing we can do. Okay, let me take your sword. I'll put it in safekeeping as part of the team's inventory. Please get a replacement from Wallace at the warehouse. He's in charge of supplies. This is a weapon request form. Please go to the warehouse and give it to Wallace.
So, you're the new guy from the mainland, right? Welcome to this miserable island. <laughs> So, you're the new guy. What? Yeah? The king wants you to retrieve the eternal power? <laughs> I hate sorry. I'm a nosy person. I won't tell the captain. Why don't you visit the shrine? There might be something of interest there. But, that's only if you can open the water gate. There's a shrine up ahead, but the deeper area is submerged in water, so there's no way to perform a real survey. If only we could find a way to open the water gate. Perhaps someone such as yourself would be able to figure it out. Just a second. Okay, all done. I've heard about you from the assistant captain. You're from the mainland. I'm Marie Fowler. I'm the chief medic here. I'm pleased to meet you. Tell me right away if you get hurt. We have medicine available here. You see that grave over there. There were more people here before, but now they're all buried. We've lost contact with the team that went to the other side. What's in that place anyway? We have no idea what it's like inside.
We're investigating the remains of the shrine next to this area. Half of it is underwater, so we're not sure what's in the deeper areas. It would be great if we could move the water gate inside the shrine. There's a control panel of some sort, but it seems broken. It doesn't respond at all. What are you doing? 